Hi, I'm Matt Pikin from the Walker Art Center. Welcome to the opening night of Trisha Brown's so that the audience does not know whether I have stopped dancing. Now, this might well be the longest title in Walker exhibition history, and it's certainly the first exhibition title to start with a conjunction. But we want to find out whether Trisha Brown has indeed stopped dancing, and we're going to ask our audience, which packed the house, for the premiere of Trisha's centerpiece to this exhibition when she danced live on canvas in the Medtronic Gallery. Watching it like this, where she is hovering like a black bat over her, <laughs> over her artwork. And, you know, there, it was fascinating to me. She's doing her work in her hand, violating her space by watching her creating this thing, but in a way we're just being annoyed. Well, yeah, but that also leads to this question of, you know, she knows that we're watching. Is she right. doing her performance or her work? Right. Is her work looking sure. different right. from right. what right. it right. usually would right. look? Right. Is she how conscious right. is she? Right. Just how her dances look on stage, her straight head, more dancey dances are just so gorgeous. They're just so pretty, you just can't stand it. And there's really no one else who uh, who, who combines that gorgeousness with that like really incredible like artistic rigor. The thing I loved best was the end when she was like God, she would throw those like, I mean, this is Trisha, the Trisha I know, you know, from the postmodern when she improvised with Grand Union and, you know, the improvisational part of her work. You throw that um, charcoal and then you stomp it into the ground, but yet you think about how you do it. This to me is what Trisha Brown has always been. We kind of just wanted some downtime, but it's a hard experience to go on here tonight. We're kind of busy with finals. This is our place to, you know, 